If you're looking to produce professional looking live streams, then there's some great tools around these days to help you do it. In this video, we're gonna cover the three most popular live streaming platforms, OBS, XSplit Broadcaster, and Wirecast, and I'm gonna share my thoughts on each of them to help you make the best decision for which one's right for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you haven't hit that big subscribe button yet, then make sure you do, and all the links to everything that we're gonna cover in this video and all of our videos can always be found in the description below. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the top three live streaming platforms are, as we said, OBS, XSplit Broadcaster, and Wirecast. Now, the three of them have a lot of similarities. They'll all allow you to create professional looking broadcasts for one. They'll also let you live stream to platforms like Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, and to an RTMP or to a custom source. They'll also all let you do screen recording or local disc recording of your live stream. So you can use them as screen recorders as well, or you can create a local backup of your live stream so that you've got it for re-upload to YouTube or another platform. They'll also have things like built-in color correction and green screen effects. So a lot of common areas between the three, but the biggest difference between the three is the pricing, the features, what they allow you to do, and how easy each piece of software is to get up and running. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll share with you which live streaming platform I use and which new one I think you should definitely keep an eye on. Okay, so the first piece of software that we're gonna cover is Wirecast Studio, and it sells for $495 US. So it's the most expensive piece of software that we're gonna cover in this video, but it's also got the most amount of features and most amount of control over your live stream. Now there is a free version of Wirecast available, it's called Wirecast Play, or Wirecast for YouTube. It is a really, really cut down version of Wirecast, so you're missing a heap of the important features to be able to get professional live streams, and you can also only live stream to YouTube. So for the purposes of this video and talking about software that will allow you to create professional looking live streams, it doesn't cut it in my opinion. So Wirecast Studio, it's cross-platform, which means you can install it on both Mac and PC. It's also probably the most powerful, gives you the largest amount of features out of the three pieces of software. So it's really easy to use, it's really easy to set up and navigate, and the interface is really intuitive. So for anyone that's just jumping in and hasn't used any of these three programs before, you'll be able to get up to speed quickest with Wirecast. And if something goes wrong, God forbid, then you'll be able to find the problem, in, at least in my experience, much, much quicker in Wirecast and fix the issue, especially while you're live, than with the other two. Wirecast also has direct integration with Facebook Live, meaning that you can view your comments and see how many people are on and look at all the hearts and the thumbs up directly from within Wirecast. So that is huge. And in addition to that, there's two other key features that Wirecast has that the others don't that really make it a standout. The first is that it gives you multiple output options. So you can broadcast live to multiple platforms or multiple RTMP streams at the same time. So that's really powerful. And the second is the live streaming presets that Wirecast has built in for your output options. So just a matter of selecting YouTube, and then you've got all the different preset options for the different qualities and bit rates that you can stream at. Both of the other two, XSplit Broadcaster and OBS, you'll have to manually key in the bit rates and keyframes and resolutions that you wanna broadcast at. So especially for anyone new, or even for someone that knows what they're doing, it's so much easier just to be able to select a pre-built template or preset for the different live streaming options. So that's a massive feature and it's something that adds to the overall usability and experience of using Wirecast Studio. Okay, now onto XSplit Broadcaster, which is quite a bit cheaper than Wirecast Studio. This one, you've got options of a monthly subscription or an annual subscription. So technically you don't really own the software, you're just licensing the software either monthly or annually. And currently a monthly subscription for the standard or the personal version is around $5 per month. If you want the professional version, then it's up around $8.30 per month. XSplit Broadcaster is Windows only. There's currently no Mac version available for it. But what it does have is a really, really powerful scene creation tool where you can easily drop your graphics and move everything around, even your titles in 3D space. So you can create some really good looking scenes and some really professional live streams and literally drag and drop and reposition everything to how you want it, more so than the other two, more so than Wirecast and OBS. They both give you those features to some degree, but XSplit has it hands down on scene creation. Now, in regards to the interface and usability of the program, it is really easy to use. It may not be as polished or as seamless 
and as intuitive as Wirecast, but it's still really easy to use and to navigate through and find everything you need to get set up easily and to have your shot looking good. You will need to have some understanding of bit rates and codecs that are recommended for your internet connection and the platform that you wanna to broadcast to in order to get the best results out of this software because you will be manually keying them in. There are no presets. But that's really not a big thing to overcome or to learn and to lock those settings down so that you only have to do them once. Now another really powerful and really useful feature in XSplit Broadcaster is the Skype integration, the connectivity with Skype. So you don't need to worry about setting up an external monitor and screen sharing that monitor and cropping the area down that you normally have to do in other broadcasting software. Having the tight integration means you can literally just sign in with your Skype account. When you make your calls, they're all bought directly in as a video source to XSplit Broadcaster. So that's really powerful and really seamless and it makes creating live video content or broadcasting your interviews live really, really easy. Okay, so now onto the third piece of software which is OBS or Open Broadcast Software. Now this one is the cheapest because it's free. Now just because it's free definitely doesn't mean it's not capable of creating professional looking live streams. It's actually probably the most popular or the most used piece of software for broadcasting live and it could have something to do with the price tag but the feature set in it is really solid and really good as well. Now, just like Wirecast, OBS is cross-platform, which means you can get a Windows version, a Mac version, but there's also a Linux version of OBS available as well. In my opinion, it's got the hardest to use or the least intuitive interface of the three, but it is something that once you get your head around and get used to using, you will be able to get quite proficient in it. And just the same as XSplit, there are no presets built in for your live streaming. So when you choose the platform that you wanna go live to, you'll then have to sort out the keyframing and your bit rates and your audio quality in order to get the best results for your bandwidth and for the location you're gonna be broadcasting to. Now, besides the price tag of nothing and still having all the power and performance to create a really professional looking live stream, one of the key features of OBS that I like is the plugins that are available. There's a plugins directory on the OBS website with a heap of plugins in there to really help you expand functionality and really customize OBS to work the way that you'd like. So that's pretty powerful. So those are the three most popular live streaming platforms. You've got Wirecast, which is the most expensive, but probably has the most amount of features. You've got XSplit, which is much, much cheaper. It's Windows only, but it's still easy to use. And then you've got OBS, which will run on everything, Mac, Windows, and Linux. It is the most complicated to use, but once you get your head around it, it's really, really powerful as well. So the software that I personally use and highly recommend is Wirecast Studio. Yes, you can create great live streams in OBS and in XSplit, but Wirecast Studio is definitely worth the $495 price tag based on everything we've just covered in this video, based on the fact that you have multiple output streams, based on how easy it is to use, how logical it is to use. You don't have to get buried deep in menus to find things and to fix up any issues if there are any. For me, it is the most powerful, most professional solution for live streaming and it's definitely worth considering. Now with live streaming currently being a rapidly growing, rapidly changing industry with heaps of stuff going on, one new platform or new service offering that's definitely worth checking out is BeLive.tv. It's currently just for Facebook Live, but if they branch out to YouTube Live as well and to other platforms, then this will be an absolute game changer. All ready to create a Facebook Live stream solo and bring in your Facebook comments and even to bring in an interview, to have two people live on a Facebook Live, there's no easier way to do it than just simply logging into the website. There's no software that you need to maintain or update, it's all done by them. So that's a really interesting one to keep an eye on, and if you're only looking currently to broadcast to Facebook Live, then definitely check it out. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Wirecast versus XSplit Broadcaster versus OBS. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you click that big subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And linked on screen now is a video to help you get the best from your YouTube live streams. I'll talk to you soon.